Welcome to Renaissance Charge Videos. I'm Rick Friedrich. Today we're going to talk about the Residence Kit 2 as well as the upcoming meeting that just decided upon at the end of October. So first of all, let's talk about that. Um, usually I like to do a meeting before the snow comes down up here in the north. So we'll probably, well we're going to do a meeting October 29th and 30th, Friday and Saturday again, and it will be in the same place that we've had other meetings at uh, the Comfort Suites, I guess it is. It's on the website. You can see the link and you'll see. Um, so we had a great meeting uh, down in Orlando. It was the probably the best demonstrations yet that we did. And the material that we presented was the material that's going to be going into the third, the second kit, the Resonance 2 kit. So let's talk about all that. So first of all, um, I want to mention what we're going to include in this kit is these risers. Now we are selling these independently, a pair, $10 each, and there's two different risers, so I'll explain that in a minute. So what these do is they clip onto these coils. Instead of, um, we had bases on these, wooden bases, and they were a big ordeal to make and stain them and all that. So we cut the price down by removing them, but then um, these, really, these coils, at least the primary coils, preferably are up in the air. And I'm gonna explain that in a minute with the Rick, the kit two, Rick kit two, uh, resonance induction coupler kit two. Uh, so these are on the website. You can order them if you need them, and then they will be in the kit as well. And they're going to be in the kit one automatically as well now. So Don Smith. This is what we're doing these kits for. Um, I'm kind of proving him right, step by step, showing everybody that they were wrong about him. And um, as I said, everything that I've found in this book that we produced, the index book, is true. Now, I haven't replicated everything, but I have replicated many things that people don't even know are in this book and it's all worked out exactly as Don said. So we're gonna continue on this journey, which has been really exciting, and we're gonna do the next kit. So that kit is, this is one prototype of the kit. I should hold it up so you can see it. So the reason for the risers is we want to do a combination of the device three concept, and that's Don Smith's device three, where we had an internal coil that could be moved um, around. In this case, it's going to be a quarter wavelength, and it could be L3, or it could be the primary coil. Now, the primary proper that we're doing is going to be wrapped around in various um, configurations around the L2 coil, which is this coil plus another coil in series with it. And when you get the kit, you'll know the details. I'm not gonna say all the details here, there's no time. This kit will not come with a capacitor or transformer, and we'll have those separately. Um, I'm gonna start selling this pretty soon, but I have to figure out how to put those on the website, but you can get your own, and I'll describe that on the website. So it will have a timer mechanism that will convert the high frequency into low frequency on and off button there on this one. And it will come with um, all the parts you need to do everything with. 
So here's where I'm at. People are begging for this kit. I'm trying to do what I can here. But I haven't really decided how far I want to go with this kit. So what we're going to do is we're going to make three kits, so three parts to this resonance induction coupler kit. The first part included a whole lot of information on all sorts of related subjects um, about resonance and um, that's a wealth of information. The second kit wasn't planning on being, I wasn't planning on doing a whole lot of information as much as giving you the tools to work with um, that you can do different experiments. So I'm not going to be saying this is what you have to do here. I'm just going to give you the parts and you can decide you don't have any options. So then what we did was we provided what we had available at the, the first meeting, two meetings back in uh, Middlebury. And so some people got those kits with the understanding that over the next six months, they're gonna get more information and details um, and most likely parts, more parts. So as I enlarged upon this idea of this kit, um, I've included more information and more uh, parts. So what I'm going to do right now is start selling this on the website, I guess as soon as this video is uploaded. And then people will be able to have the core parts sometime in October, we'll ship it out. And um, those who have already ordered will get updates and probably major installments. So I, what I all have is pretty much all the parts available <coughs> by October uh, will be ready to ship because I'm still trying to decide on what extra things I throw in the kit. So there's a whole bunch of ideas. I don't want to overdo it. <laughs> um, so <coughs> The goal will be as the third kit comes, well, one of the points I want to make is the supply chain is getting worse and worse right now. So that's why I want to do this as soon as we can, get things out, um, order things in while we can, because it's only going to get worse if this big cyber attack is coming as early as this fourth quarter. I don't, I suspect that that was happening, but looking at what they're doing with the whole CV, um, I think they have their hands tied up with that, pushing that agenda maybe for the next year. Um, in one sense that's bad, in another sense it may uh, leave us some opportunity to still have some kind of sense of normalcy at this time. So I don't know, I'm not really following all that stuff right now, I'm too busy working. But the idea will be to do a third kit, a third portion of this, which will, what I'm doing right now, with the first two kits, is having you work with the frequency generator, uh, low frequency, and we're not taking advantage of the free oscillation energy, which is a big part of the Don Smith system, which I'll explain in a minute. Uh, so what we want to do is learn that with the frequency generator, the basics, at a safe level, then you have all sorts of tools to work with. And then in the third installment, um, which will probably be about six months from now, when this one is fully finalized, the next one uh, will kind of go hand in hand with that. And that would be going at higher, higher voltage um, and higher, well, maybe higher frequency too, but at least the higher voltage with spark gaps, plural. And that information though, however, I'm going to be providing, I already have the information, I just gotta process it more um, than what we've shared with the last meeting. The last meeting, I overwhelmed everyone. Um, it was quite intense meeting. Everybody was very satisfied with the information. I was not planning on giving that much information out, but I did and it went really well. So this meeting coming up um, at the end, of, the, of October, I'm sorry, yeah, the end of October is where we're doing it, um, we'll be sharing that information and going over it and demonstrating it. So that will be 
again, the most important meeting that we've ever had. Um, so that's the kind of outlook on there. Now, coupled with that, um, we're looking at doing another kit here, which is the Don Smith Device 2 kit, which was really the first one after the President's Inductual Coupler Kit. Um, so we're looking at is, um, this is exact replication of his, but I think what I'll do is take another step further. See, that's working in the 100 megahertz ranges, which is um, when we're dealing with diodes and different things, it's, it's out of most people's range to work with. And uh, the oscilloscopes and all that usually are not up to over 100 megahertz. So we're going to work with these other coils. I have a lot of them already. Um, I think what, what's happened though is B&W, Barker and Williamson has stopped producing their coils. I think I bought the last one from them. And um, so we're going to try and figure out how to make our own. I don't think we really need to make them um, exactly the same as long as we get, um, like what you have to understand is the amount of output from these relatively small coils is enormous and that we don't have to do that much. <laughs> so I'm trying to decide on how small the system we want to do along those lines. The problem is with this is it's, this is very dangerous stuff and I haven't figured out how to be able to sell that so I'm not sure if I can even do that to the general public. Whereas this is completely different. So these are some examples of coils here that I'm referring to. Um, you can see in the background some pictures um, or some setups that I've shown at the last meeting that were full Don Smith systems. Well, some of them were replications, some of them were similar. Um, so we'll be working with quarter wavelengths and half wavelengths and so forth in all this. So that's all I wanted to say today. Um, I'm not planning to have another meeting down south or really ever again. I know I said that last year, but depending on how things turn out, I won't have one until at least the warmer temperatures and I don't really plan on traveling anymore for meetings. It's just a lot of work and it's easier for me to do it here. So I know some of you are hoping for that. It's not going to happen. This is the last one I'm planning on because I am getting more and more busy, not um, as focused on the internet people and the general public anymore. So I'm doing what I can. That's why you see these blitz of videos here. Um, there's another one coming with an update on the new dual pole motor. There's several upgrades on it and I'll do a video on that shortly. Thanks for watching.